They wanted ice out. But some were thrown out themselves. Once things quieted down, acting ICE Director Thomas Homan and Sacramento County Sheriff Scott Jones work to explain how their agencies do and don't work together. We never ask someone's immigration status. We never ask for proof of residency or documentation or legal status. The exception being when someone is under arrest and booked into the Sacramento County Jail. We would like to do it in the security, the privacy, and the safety of a county jail. We don't conduct neighborhood sweeps. We don't do it. We don't arrest people on school grounds. We don't arrest people in churches. We don't arrest people in hospitals. A vast majority of those in attendance sounded critical of ICE. It's about time you turn your people here. That includes 88-year-old Bernard Marx, who spent part of his childhood in a Nazi concentration camp and sees some parallels. Just because somebody got a, a traffic ticket to put him in jail, and haul them off is no different than what the Nazis did to me. I have a question for each of you. Among sure. those who asked pointed questions, Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg who wanted to know what will happen to people who had been offered protection under Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA. How can the communities, in this community specifically, be reassured that your agency will not be asked to enforce the law in ways other than what you expressed here tonight, including deporting dreamers, kids, and law-abiding families. I can't tell the future. I don't know what's going to happen down the road. As of right now, DACA recipients remain in deferred status. But even after all the questions were answered, many left confused and frustrated by the back and forth. We but the no sheriff called it a good first step. I think that had tremendous value and, and hopefully will we'll be the start of a good dialogue.